me see if this going to work. I think it will. I think we're going to be all right. Okay, yeah, everybody can see. Hi, everybody. Come on. Come on in. In the words of Pastor John Hanna, let's gather yourselves. Come on in. Gather yourselves. Come on in. Hey. Hey, we got a lot of little work to do tonight, so I hope y'all ready, all right? Welcome to everybody who just, who's joining, everybody who's watching for the replay. Shout out to everybody what's going on. All right, so I figure we, it is Sunday, okay? It is Sunday, so I figure we probably do a little something for, uh, for dinner, okay? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, one of my favorite ingredients, hands down, God, dog, ten dollars and thirty-seven cents. These smoked turkey sales come. I could have got a regular ham hock for that much. Jesus, these are five dollars and eighty-nine cents a pound. When did uh, when did turkey tails um become so expensive? I wonder. Jesus, that's very pricey for turkey tails, but we don't. Who got who got Joe Biden phone number? I know he off right now, but we need to call him, okay, to say, sir, this is this ain't it, okay? Um, so the thing about turkey tails is that they're super meaty and flavorful, but sometimes they have like the little um, the little feather like thingies in here, the little feather ducks. I mean, it is a bird, okay? Where it came from, so it is what it is. Uh, but then sometimes you can get like a paper towel, and then you can pull them out if they got, if it's a lot of like real big ones, you can sort of get in here and pull them out with tweezers or something. Hold on, I can't get this one out. So you play Dr. Pimple Popper and you do an incision, you see. Little tiny baby pinch. <laughs> For those of y'all who watch Pimple Popper before you go to bed like me. This is really giving me a hard time, man. Oh my God, Facebook just shut down completely. Let me see if I can get it back up. Hold on one second, y'all. Facebook just completely shut down. You know, uh... You know ain't no telling, okay? Between Facebook, Instagram, the outages, ain't no telling, man, what's going on, okay? All right, see like that, I was able to pull, I was able to pull that one out, okay? So you just kind of do a little inspection real fast and you just look and see. Um, these don't really bother me a whole lot, but some people they do. So if they bother you, then you want to pull out the, the little feather duct. I'm sure there's a name for it. Okay, I know it's not called feather duct, but it's where the feathers be at. Okay, so you pull them out like that. See, hold on, that's one deep down. Boy, this is a stubborn one right here. Ooh, there we go. This one was down there, bro. Okay, we got enough. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my um, turkey tails and throw them into my insert for my pressure cooker, and this is a hard job, Jesus Christ. This a, is a tough one right here, boy. This one don't wanna come out. There it goes. Look at it. He didn't, he didn't wanna come out. He wanted to stay put. No, 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 no. Okay. So uh, I'm going to add in 
water, I don't know, like maybe a quarter of the way up to the top of this. And then I'm gonna put this in my pressure cooker and I'm gonna put it on uh, saute to start. All right, I'm putting it on saute because what saute will do is it'll start to, thank you, appreciate it. Saute will start to build up the, um, the heat and uh, what we need for the pressure, okay? Now, I went and picked up some turnip. Don't like turnip greens? I feel like turnip greens don't get they, they just do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, um, uh, no, this is definitely live. Somebody asked, is this live or is this canned? Sorry, Facebook just shut down. Not, not you, Facebook. But you, Facebook. I'm live on two different Facebook platforms. And the one um, over here just completely shut down. Do not ask me why. I don't know. Okay? Okay, so I'm just pouring a, a bag of turnip greens into uh, some cool water. All right? So we can give them a, a wash. And then since I'm using turnip green, you know what I said? I said what we ought to do is use a little piece of um, the turnip itself, okay? Because I feel like the what the turnips do for me, now this is just me, if you don't like them, you don't have to put them. And just FYI, you also don't have to comment in the comment section that you don't like turnips. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to do that. This is not the airport. This is a live stream. You do not need to make announcements around here. If you don't like it, then it's cool, bruh. You just don't like it. And then we're gonna be, we're gonna be alright with you not liking it. Okay? Okay, so let me chop off the ends of my turnips. I'm not even gonna peel them. Just wash them real good. And uh I'm gonna throw my turnips right up into the water, bruh. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna give these a a little chop okay and then a little slice action if you don't like turnips i don't know what's wrong with you okay these turnips from the soak of this pot liquor okay the turnips gonna soak up all the good pot liquor and it's gonna be real 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 delicious okay all right. Okay, into the bowl, let me add in uh, my turnips. Okay, so turnips are gonna go right in. Uh, washed turnips go in the water with uh, the turkey tail. You can use whatever you want. Ham hot, fat back, uh, ham bone. You know, I don't really care. Okay? I like them all. Okay? If it's a sm piece of smoked meat, I don't care who's, it don't even matter who smoked it. I like it. Okay? All right. So I'm going to add these turnip greens. Um, and I'm going to tell you something, too, real fast. Ain't nobody got time to be peeling no turnip greens. Picking. Picking turnip greens. Anybody, let me tell you something. Pamela Elizabeth Garth, may she rest in peace, had me picking enough turnip greens and snapping enough green beans uh, that I don't ever have to do that ever again, okay? When I tell you my grandmother, because we had, we had something every week, collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, something with cabbage, something with kale, something with spinach. It was something. And you know what's so funny is like when I was growing up, I was like, uh, no, I'm tired of this. But as an adult, bring it on, okay? I need, I need me an old batch of something like every week, Doc, okay? Um, real fast, I know y'all see this cookware behind me. Um, until midnight, all right? Until midnight. 
ShopDariusCooks.com. Use the code SUNDAY until midnight, okay? All right, I'm going to put these in. Also, this is the uh, Darius Cooks pressure cooker that I'm using. Let me show you how to look up close. It looks like this. Okay? It looks just like that. Wait, can y'all see that? Hold on, Facebook in front of me. Y'all can't see it. I'm sorry. Here you go. Now you can see it. Um, this one too, 35% off. Use the code Sunday at checkout. Okay? Y'all let people know before I take this drink. All right? I'm trying to get all the church announcements out of the way. Okay? Now, I'm going to put this on... Uh, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to cancel it out. And I'm going to put it to pressure for, I'm going to do a, a, like 35 minutes. 35 minutes should give me where I need to go. Okay? And I'm going to work another one. Might as well. Might as well use two of them. Huh? Who needs to use the oven all day when you got a pressure cooker, right? Okay? All right, let me get this one ready. And in this pressure cooker, all right, I have some turkey wings, all right? You know what's going to go down, all right? Collard green, I mean, turnip greens with the, with the turnips and the, uh, and the smoked turkey, okay? Fresh turkey wing. I remember one time. This is a true story. I'm not going to lie to you. True story. I remember one time I was growing up and uh, it was around the holidays. I must have been about 10, 11, something like that. And uh, <laughs> my grandma them told me to go to the store so they could get some, I'll never forget this, go to the store so they could get some um, turkey to make the broth for the dressing, okay? Like, I want you to go down to, see, we had a meat market called Blue Ribbon Meat Market. Believe it or not, it's still there today. It's on the Oak Park side, Austin and Lake Street in Chicago. And uh, they sent me to the store to get smoked turkey, or get I guess get turkey, rather, for the dressing to make the broth. To this day, I still make my own broth, okay? And in doing so... I got smoked turkey instead of fresh turkey. Uh, grandma say, we can't use this. This is smoked. I said, shit, I didn't know. Well, I didn't say that. Okay, I didn't say that to, to my grandmother. But I'm saying I didn't know the difference. I didn't even know there was a difference between um, smoked turkey and fresh back in the day. Don't I like you ain't never sent your husband to the store to get something and they come back and you be like, what is this? This is not what I sent you to the store to pick up, okay? Come back with everything except what you asked for. I cannot be the only one this has happened to, okay? All right, I'm putting uh, all of the good things into the bottom of this next uh, pressure cooker, all right? Don't, don't let this intimidate you. You literally could use any vegetable you like, okay? Onion, bell pepper, celery, parsnip, it don't even matter. Carrots. It's, you, you cooking for yourself. And unlike, unlike me, you don't have thousands of people watching you critiquing everything you do. You know who you are. Okay? All right. So we're going to dice up some celery. All right? Beautiful, lovely, aromatic celery. Okay? Um, and then I got some garlic I want to throw. I'm just going to throw the garlic cloves in here whole. Can I do that? Because by the time we done chopped them and peeled them, the pressure cooker is going to work them out anyway. So I'm putting, you know, a couple of garlic cloves right here in the bottom, okay? All right, we gotta do a few more things. 
to make this taste real good, all right? I'm sorry. I will forever and always be a fan of cream of chicken soup, okay? I'm sorry if you're not, but cream of chicken soup is my ish, okay? So these are um, 10 and a half ounce cans. I'm going to throw two of these in here because what I'm going to do at the same time, so I'm going to cook the uh, turkey wings and at the same time, I'm going to make me a little sauce, a little gravy. Uh, sometimes you have to thicken it at the end, but that's all right, okay? We can handle that. Uh, let me grab all the seasonings I'm going to need because, you know, I don't have nothing ready to go. And what I don't want to hear uh, is your mouth, okay? <laughs> Let me grab some uh, seasonings from here. Y'all hold the line one second. I'm coming. I ain't going nowhere. Some of this. Some of this. Some of this. Some of this. Uh, some of this. Some of this. You know what I do sometimes? I just, you know, I just go in the cabinet and see what look good, okay? Okay, I say, oh, I haven't used you in a long time. Let me use you. Oh, I haven't used you in a long time. Let me go and use you. That's all I do. I be doing it. And I seen some uh, celery seed in here. I might as well use that too. Put me a little pinch of that in there. And let me see what else I want to use. Uh, that's it. I don't need nothing else. All right. So, I'm going to go and put these two turkey wings up in here. It ain't nobody but me. You know, if you were feeding a crowd, you could double it, you know, put four in there, whatever the case may be. But ain't nobody here but me. So I'm going to go on food with these two. Now, if I was doing this just in um, the oven, I would season these down like real good and then I would put them into the oven, okay? Um, and let it do its thing in there. But since it's all going in here. It's a, you know, like a chop and a drop, okay? So a little Cajun seasoning. Be careful because this does have salt, okay? And as you can see so far, we haven't put any salt content in whatsoever. So um, that's Cajun seasoning. Herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning. I got a little bit of dried thyme because we have time for thyme. I have some celery seed like ground celery seed, which I love, okay? Nice kind of like savory note to what, what you're cooking, okay? A little piece of garlic powder, a little piece of onion powder, a little piece of dried um, fennel, all right? Still haven't put that much salt in here, all right? You know how y'all get in the comments, oh my God! It's so much, it's so salty. I didn't put, I put literally a half a teaspoon of salt in so far, so. You know, okay. Now let me hook you up on, put you up on game real fast, all right? If you start doing this, everybody gonna be doing this. So don't tell everybody what we doing, okay? You need half beef bouillon and half chicken bouillon. Huh? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You need half beef, okay? So that's a little bit of the beef, and I'm gonna use one of the chicken bouillon. What the Bible say? We going for flavor. I forgot what book that was in. I don't know if it's Genesis or Leviticus, but it's, it's in there. Okay, you just got to go read it. If you start at Genesis and you finish at Revelation, you'll roll right across it, okay? Now we need some water. So what we did with the beef bouillon and the uh, chicken bouillon is real simple. We're making the gravy 
um, in here. So that's why I said we're gonna put the water in, let this do its thing in the pressure cooker. But you need to know that when this comes out, you have to thicken it. All right. So we'll deal with that when it comes out. All right. So we're gonna plug up uh, this pressure cooker. Let me get the outlet. All right, so this bad boy gets going. There you go. Hey. All right, and I'm gonna put him on. I'm gonna put him on for an hour. We'll see how far we go tonight. Um, and I might take them off a little early, but we're gonna start uh, with um, an hour. Okay. So the same thing, I'm gonna put him on pressure. I'm gonna bump him up to an hour. All right, and then we're gonna make sure these are all closed. All right, make sure everything's closed and then let that work. So it takes about five minutes or so to build up the pressure, but that's typical for pretty much any pressure cooker, all right? Oh, did somebody say cocktail? because I feel like we need one, okay? Now, one of the things y'all always ask me is there he is. I'll be like, yes. Y'all be like, can we get a cocktail book, please? And I said, okay, it takes about a year to create one. But what I did do is in the back of um, my holiday cookbook, there are lots and lots and lots of beautiful, amazing cocktails for you to try. So I figured, why not make one uh, today, okay? Now, I do have all the books, everything just until midnight, y'all. Do not inbox me. <laughs> uh, do not email me, ask me to extend it just until midnight, 35% off everything in the store use the code sunday okay so we have the everyday keto cookbook we have vegan but with soul which so many of you guys have there's also stories from my grandmother's stories from my grandmother's kitchen okay and 101 recipes for your holiday table, which we're going to be using right now. So if those of you who have your Bibles, uh, you can turn with me. Let me see which cocktail I'm about to make. Um, it's a whole lot of them in here. So I think tonight, tonight, I'm going to make... Hey, here we go. Page 223. Okay. Cranberry orange frozen margaritas. Except I'm out of tequila. I got rum. So now we're making frozen cranberry orange daiquiris. Okay. On page 223 in the book. And we're going to do it frozen. Because we can do that. Okay. So. I'm going to start with a blender. Let me look real fast on Instagram and see if I got to cut the comments on. Okay. Um, Instagram, are the trolls, are the Arabian trolls here? Y'all let me know if the Arabian trolls are here. If they here, we'll take it out. If not, we'll leave it on. Okay. So let me know. Um... You made that one and you love it. Okay, the Arabian trolls are not there. Okay, cool. They can say they're good. All right, let me grab some ice, y'all. Hold on. two seconds and I already seen the people on Instagram was getting somebody together. They must have asked a question that wasn't so smart or they didn't apply their critical thinking to the question. 
And so I seen the people in, in the thing was like getting together. Good job. Okay. All right. So the first thing this says we need to add is, uh, oh, this is for a big batch. So two cups of tequila. We're not going to add two cups of nothing while I'm up in here. Okay. If you were making a big batch, that's why this is for holiday. So you would add two cups. So we're going to do probably about a cup of Bacardi. This is Bacardi rum, like a white rum, which I think is great um, in here. Okay. Um, next, it says we need to add uh, some cranberry juice. So I'm going to add the same amount of cranberry juice. And you could use the white cranberry juice. You could use that tropical, that pineapple cranberry. You can use whatever you want. All right. So I'm going to add some, uh, some of that. Like that, okay. And then we need to add some orange juice concentrate. So I went to the supermarket. Well, I didn't go to the supermarket. Publix, they got the Instacart. They did this. And you're going to add your concentrate orange juice right to, like, let it thaw out. And then add you some right in there. And you know you're going to need that because uh, that rum is a little on the tart. That uh, the cranberry juice don't really be that sweet. And then we're going to add a little piece of um, fresh squeezed lime juice to ours. Okay? Like that. Simple stuff, which is what I do, but they taste amazing. Okay? So you put this right here. You put the lid on like this here, see? Okay? Now we're going to plug this up. You have to be careful. We had an accident last year on live stream, okay? And we don't need no more accidents on live stream, all right? Cut this on. a little, you know, a little garnish. You could be. Let me see if I got a, a halfway decent looking lime. Child, these limes I've seen brighter days. They need to see brighter days. Okay, let me see. Go a little piece. I got a little, a barely a good piece of lime. So in the book, all we did was cut the lime. This is going to smell just like onion. Hold on a second. Okay, cut the line, cut you a little slice, like this, see? And then you're gonna cut you a slit in the slice, and then you take your uh, Darius Cook's wine glass, and then you do a little situation just like that, see? Very holiday, very festive, very we in the mood, okay? Very nice, okay? Now we're gonna take our frozen cranberry orange, margarita slash daiquiri and we're gonna pour that right in there like that see all right now i don't have an orange peel to twist if you got one twist away okay i mean twist for the holy ghost if you got one but this is what we end up with okay you end up with this is what's in the book and this is what we we begin to drink, okay? Uh, bow your head and say grace real fast. Uh, grace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to go slow on this. These wine glasses, by the way, These are part of the Darius Cooks collection. You can get these at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code uh, SUNDAY at checkout to save, okay? Mm. 
Okay. Mm. All right, I'm gonna use my saucier. Yes, I have a pearl and gold saucier. Um, cast iron, enameled, beautiful. And I said, you know what we should do? Use it tonight to cook. I'm gonna make a little piece of side dish. Ain't nobody here but me. So I said, okay. This is the perfect size, almost two quarts, beautiful for sauces, finishing sauces, gravies, things like that. Or you're cooking a small meal, don't want to break out the big old Dutch oven, which we do have, then you can use this, okay? All right, so I am going to grab some taters, okay? I got some, some russets. Uh, Russet, Yukon Gold, whatever's on sale. These three is about all I need. I don't need more than three. Okay. Now, let me sip first. Hold on one second. It is Sunday. As often as you do this, do it every, I'm telling you, the, the combination of cranberry and orange, outstanding. Mm. Cheers, y'all. And if you don't want to do a frozen, you can do a shaken too. Or stir. It's up to you. Okay. Alright, I got some Yukon go, I mean some rustic potatoes. I'm gonna be honest. You know how I don't like peeling potato, uh, peeling garlic. I don't like peeling potatoes here. Sorry, it's not my cup of tea. Not a fan, but in this particular situation, you do what you got to do. So I'm not going to peel these at all. If you are a potato peeler, then by all means. Please peel your potatoes, okay? Actually, two is enough. It's just me. So three is being greedy. Two is actually beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rinse these off, these potatoes. And um, the thing I love about the cast iron cooking is that it's a... I wish y'all could smell this, okay? I wish you could smell this. Wow, this smells so good. Um... It's a beautiful, even conductor um, of heat, right? So regardless of what you're cooking on, nothing is going to give you that sear, that crunch, that browning like cast iron, okay? And we have a beautiful, this is the two-quart saucier. Again, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code. Sunday at checkout. This could be on its way to your front door. And make sure you also use um, Sezzle. Because on Sezzle, you could buy now and then pay later. Okay? Alright, so let's get these potatoes on. And then you know what I said to myself? I said, you know, it's been a long time since we made a little something sweet. It's been a long time. So I said, you know what we ought to do? Make a little something sweet. That's what I said to myself. So let me get my mixer so I can show you what we're gonna do. It's been a long time since we did this. So this is in time for the holidays. Not only that, but we have tons and tons of new people who join us all the time. So it's nice to kind of revisit uh, stuff. So you don't need a, uh, a mixer for this. You can do this with a hand mixer. Personally, I wouldn't. But by all means, if you want to, then knock yourself out. Okay? All right. So first, 
into my mixer, all right, I'm going to add the following, okay? Uh, oh, it's over here. I'm not adding nothing because I don't know where it's at. All right, so the first thing is two sticks of butter. And you want to make sure that everything's at room temperature or as close to it as possible because, you know, things will mix well at room temperature, all right? So there's two sticks of butter, and it does not matter you know, salted versus unsalted, who cares? Just put the butter into the mixer, all right? I wish y'all could smell this house. I wish you could smell this house, okay? Mm. Okay. Next to the butter, I'm gonna add in an eight ounce package of cream cheese. Now, use any cream cheese you want, okay? If you wanna use Philadelphia, use Philadelphia. If you wanna use Cincinnati or Cleveland, use Cincinnati or Cleveland, use whatever cream cheese you prefer. Because when you go get them bagels from Panera Bread, I know that's not Philadelphia cream cheese. Although, that toasted hazelnut cream cheese, they stopped making that. Now, that was anointing. Okay? Who knows somebody working Panera Bread? Tag them, <laughs> tag them in this video. Okay, please. Please tag them. Because... Uh, cinnamon crunch bagel with toasted hazelnut, and I don't even eat hazelnuts, but that cream cheese was the dog bomb, bro. Eighty nine gazillion calories too. Okay, eighty nine gazillion calories, but it was good. All right, before we bring this to a mix, I'm gonna add in some uh, sugar. All right, we want three cups. So there's one, all right, there's two, and then this is my third cup of sugar, all right? Let's put it in our paddle, and let's go to work. Well, this mixer got to go to work. I ain't got to do much, okay? Here we go. Start it on low. If not, you're gonna be wearing it. All right, and the idea here is to mix. This is, we're not rushing it. We taking our time, all right? We are not going, listen, if you're in a hurry, this ain't the cake you wanna make. This is one of those cakes that really require time and patience and, you know, it's a very easy cake to make, don't get me wrong, but, it does require a little bit of patience, all right? So as soon as the butter and the sugar start creaming together with that cream cheese, which is why you want it to be at room temperature, then you can buff it on up, okay? And let it really just go. And what you're trying to do is incorporate a lot of good air into the cake. That's gonna give you light, it'll give you fluffy, and a beautiful crumb to the pound cake, okay? Now we're gonna add in eggs. Okay. One at a time. Okay. So when it's light and fluffy, It'll look like this, right? Like whipped, like it's not yellow anymore. 
is super pale. It'll look like this. And this is what you're going for. You want something that's like super whipped. And honestly, this could go for about 15 more minutes if it was up to me. If I was at home by myself, I literally would do this for about 15 minutes. Walk away and then come back and then it'll be beautiful, okay? So we're gonna put this on stir and we're gonna add in the eggs. And we're gonna do one at a time. So you put one egg in. Okay. Two eggs. Three eggs. Four eggs. There you go. I got it without no shell. And then the fifth egg. All right? So we're adding five eggs at a time, or five eggs, but one egg at a time. And then you want to scrape down um, the side. just to make sure everything's incorporated, okay? And honestly, once you add the eggs, I'll let it go another 15 minutes. That's just what I would do if I had the time, okay? I'll let it go like another 15, if I have the time. I don't have the time, but I would do that. Now, we need to add in some flavoring, okay? My dear friend, Christy, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name I can give her. I can't think of one. I was gonna give her a black name. She's a white, she's white, she's a white woman. Um, but her name is Christy Paxton. And Christy's been following me for a number of years, okay? Um, and she's an amazing human being. She started off as a follower we developed a really beautiful friendship, so now we text and we talk and things like that. And uh, when she comes to Atlanta, we go hang out and we have fun and things like that. Now she doing something only white people do. She started a vanilla company called Rocky Mountain Vanilla. I don't think she ready to start selling yet, but when she is, I'll let you guys know. But this vanilla has been aging since December 3rd, 2019. Okay, so this is not, let me let y'all see a little close. I don't know when she's gonna be ready to open up to sell. I have no idea. But she has been doing this, um, she's been doing this for a while. Okay. Now she makes, this is like the real deal vanilla. Can y'all see this? Everybody can see this? Okay. Well, no, she wrapped it like this because she, she traveled here. She lives in Colorado. So she traveled here and she uh, she put this on a plane. So she wrapped it so it wouldn't spill out. All right. So I'm going to do a couple of tablespoons of her beautiful Rocky Mountain Vanilla. She white. And she do white people stuff too. Okay. She gardens. She has like ducks and owls and she lives out in Colorado somewhere. She do stuff white people do, okay? Black people do not make vanilla, all right? She does. She has owls and bears and ducks and chickens and you name it, she got everything, okay? I make fun of her all the time too. <laughs> I make fun of her because first of all, she does stuff that I think is so cute. So she has my real address. Like she knows exactly where I live. She's been in my house before. And uh, so she has my address. So she sends me gifts all the time, right? Just was thinking about you. Here's a gift, right? So she knows that I love um, the Golden Girls. Like she knows that. She knows that I love the Golden Girls. 
And so because I love the Golden Girls so much, she would buy me like Golden Girls pajamas and she bought me the Golden Girls cookbook and all kind of stuff that only white people do. And I love her for it, okay? And she is one of us. Do not mess with her. Don't say nothing bad about us, about her, because you got about 4,000 people to get to first before you get to her. Hi, everybody. Did somebody say frozen daiquiri? This is cranberry and orange daiquiri. It's on page 223. It's on page 220. I done drunk it all. But you can get the recipe at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the curl the code Sunday at checkout to save 35%. I see it's in the comments. Y'all really working these comments out. We need a little piece of flour in here, okay? Everybody just focus, okay? Just focus. Okay. We're gonna add in the flour while it's on low. One cup at a time, okay? So this is our first cup of flour. You can't be in a rush with this. Take your time, all right? Do it right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight, okay? I get so many questions. Do you sift the flour first? Did you see me sift the flour before I put it in here? Okay. Aren't you supposed to use cake flour? I said all purpose. You see what I'm saying? So, before you get the urge to want to type in those questions, because I know how y'all are. Y'all my people, and I, I know y'all. What, what are we? A family. Like a giant tree branching up to the sky. Yes, Curtis was supposed to love me. Okay, listen, before you get the urge to want to type it in, I didn't sift it. Okay, that's supposed to be easy. I didn't sift it, I didn't use cake flour. What I use? All purpose flour. That's what I had used in here, okay? It's not even that hard, bro. Okay? It's not even that hard. Okay? Now, uh, you're going to need something to loosen this up, okay? And I'm going to put in one cup of buttermilk. And the reason I'm using buttermilk is because the buttermilk, the acid in the buttermilk, okay, is going to mix really beautifully with the baking powder that's in here, okay? So what we're going to end up getting is a uh, molecular composition between the acid okay and the active ingredient in the baking uh, powder when it hits the oven and the heat it's going to give us a beautiful velvety texture to our cake which is why you want to add the buttermilk now 
Let's say you ain't got no buttermilk, bruh. That be happening too sometimes. Then you know what you could use. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What you can use. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What you could use is uh, regular milk with a little vinegar inside the regular milk to bump up the acidity, right? Or let me see. You could use heavy cream or half and half, but I like buttermilk. That's what I enjoy. Isn't this wine glass beautiful? This is from the Darius Cooks collection. You can get it by going to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code SUNDAY at checkout to save, okay? Now, this will make this will make for a 10 cup situation. So if you have a, between a 10 to 12 cup um, baking dish, pan, butt pan, whatever you got, okay, then this will get you all of that. If you don't and you have the smaller ones, what it'll get you is it'll get you double. Okay, so you can make two cakes with this. Now, I want you to see what this cake batter looks like, okay? Because it's not like super thick. Well, it is. See, look at that. It's thick as hell, okay? Let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can go camera to camera so y'all can see what I'm working with, okay? Look at this. So you see this? This is how it looks. So that's, who are y'all? Facebook. Instagram, Facebook again, my Facebook friends, TikTok, and YouTube, okay? So you can you can see um, what it's going to end up looking like. So just follow what I said, do just like I have said, and then you'll be all right, okay? You have your little piece of, you have your little piece of cake, Okay? Let me clean my flour up. Now, it don't make no sense to go through all this work. Are y'all feeling as good as I'm feeling? I hope so. Okay? Because I feel, call me Stephanie Mills. Because I feel good all over. Sweet things, you say to me, ah ha ha, I love you. Okay, it don't make no sense to get this cake in here and you can't get it out. You got two choices, okay? Really, you got three, butter and flour. If you want a crunchy outside, shortening and flour. Or if you lazy like me, you use Baker's Joy because it's already mixed in. Yes? All right. So what you got to do is you got to spray this like you trying to cast out a demon, okay? That's not enough, huh? The devil, what he come do? Kill, steal, and destroy your pound cake, okay? So you have to tell the devil, you got to back up off me. In the words of Helen Baylor, the devil tried to kill me, <laughs> but I got away. Okay, you really got to spray this and spray around the miller real good, okay? If you don't, you're going to be shamed when you put this cake in the oven, all right? I'm just telling you, spray it good, okay? Like, spray like you got the power. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's no tomorrow, okay? If you don't, you finna be shamed. Yes? Okay. Now, again, if this was a 12 cup, 10 to 12 cup, you could put the whole thing in. This is not 10 to 12 cups, so I'm gonna fill this up 75% of the way. 75% is three quarters out of a dollar. Okay? 
that's three fourths of the way up. I know it'd be hard sometimes. Okay, you've been working from home, dealing with COVID, the kids got distance learning. I understand. That's why I'm explaining it to you. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. You want to fill this up 75% of the way. Okay, 75% is three quarters out of a whole dollar. Yes, three out of four. Translated into numbers, that is 75%. That is three quarters of the way up. If you go more than 75% up this side, it's going to be a mess in your oven. Now, do not act like I ain't told you nothing or gave you the key, all right? Because I'm telling you, I don't want you to be shamed. And some of y'all, I feel like it's going to be a real shame with this here, okay? All right. So we're going to fill this up 75%. That's what I said. It's to get you two cakes. So if you follow this recipe, and uh, I think it's a recipe on DariusCooks.tv. It's got to be. It's got to be. If it's not on DariusCooks.tv, I know it's in them cookbooks. Let me see. Hold on. It's got to be. I think it's a pound cake in every book, okay? If you're looking at stories, go to the back and go look at, let me see, huh, buttermilk pound cake with lemon lime glaze, page 193 and 194 in stories from my grandmother's kitchen, okay? If for some reason you're doing a holiday, hold on, I'm going to tell you. Okay, whatever I said, 190-something, that's what that is. Oh, dessert at the back, ain't it? Woo, okay, page 199. Okay, page 199. Cranberry glazed pound cake. I'm telling you, I already got you covered, bro. Okay? Vegan, but with soul. And I don't know if it's one in here or not. So we're going to find out together. I forget. It might be. Let me see. In case you vegans won't. Page 66 and page 67. Vegan, but with soul. 7-Up Cream Cheese Pound Cake because they got vegan cream cheese and last time I checked no animals were harmed making 7-Up okay and then let me see this is uh, what this is Everyday Keto I want you to go to page because y'all going to be like we don't know where it's at can you tell me I don't see it what happened to me? Page 199. Okay? This is a triple cream bake sale pound cake. You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com as well. All right? Use the code SUNDAY at checkout to save. Every book got a pound cake. Okay? All right. Now, before this goes into the oven, you got to release the air. Do not put this in here like this and then put it in the oven. You're going to be shamed. All right? I'm doing what grandmama always did. You do that. I've been working on the railroad all a little long day. Okay? Or you can sing gospel. Time is filled with transition. Oh, all on earth unmoved can stand. Okay, do you let him? 
and knock out. You can have prayer life and release the air at the same time. Huh? Want to get you double for your trouble? The oven is at 325 degrees, okay? This goes in until it's done. <laughs> it should take that size. The smaller size should run you somewhere around 35, 40 minutes. Larger size, somewhere around an hour, hour and 15. Okay? All right. Those are my turbo greens. That's how they done. We'll see. Thank you. All right. So here's what I want to do. Okay? All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my potatoes. They've been cooking in my saucier. Until they're fork tender. Y'all be like, what's fork tender? Until the fork comes in and goes out easily. Okay? So I'm gonna drain these. Okay. And here's how you know. They're fork tender. You stick a fork in. Well, I can't even pick one up. I can't even. I can't even pick one up. See that? There you go. <laughs> okay. See that? That's fork tender. Okay. So these are looking really good, and I'm gonna put these back into um, this hot pot to work on them real fast. But before I do that. I'm gonna take another saucier. By the way, you can get these saucier's at shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code uh, Sunday at checkout to save a couple of dollars, thirty-five percent until midnight. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put this on like a low heat. And then I'm going to take um, a half stick of butter, okay? And I'm going to put this half stick of butter into this pan on no heat, okay? This is what I'm going for. I'm going for, give you a point of reference, okay? I'm going for, let me see here. What page I'm going for? I'm going for, uh, I'm going for a combination of page 53 and a combination of page 55, okay? 53 and 55. So what I want to do is I'm going to make some brown butter, okay? So brown butter is just butter that's caramelized. So in the butter, you have two components, fat and you have a water content, okay? In the absence of water content, once this has a chance to melt down, the fat will start to caramelize. And that caramel taste is quite outstanding, okay? So we do a little low and slow situation um, right on there, okay? Now, in this saucepan, let me grab, uh, I got one right here, a potato masher. So this is the first thing y'all be doing wrong, okay? When you make homemade mashed potatoes like this, don't put nothing in just yet. Mash your potatoes first, okay? And if, can I be honest? I like a little chunk in my potato, okay? You don't have to mash mine until you can't mash it no more. I'm okay with lumps in my potatoes. I don't know who started that, that you can't have lumps in your potatoes. Lump me, that, okay? Lump me till you can't lump me no more. I'll take it. I don't know who y'all thought I would. I like a little lump in mine, bruh. Okay? I'm here for the lumpation. But some people don't like lumps, and I don't understand. 
What the potato did to you, you can't put a little lump. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna mash these real good. Before I add anything, I mash them. Now we gotta season them. Okay. These are potatoes. Potatoes be bland as hell. Okay. So you need a good pinch of salt in your potatoes. And then I'm going to add me a good pinch of black pepper. Okay. One thing I like doing is, let me find the um, garlic powder. Y'all, hold on. I don't have it ready. I got it. Okay, I got me a little garlic powder. You don't need that much, just yeah, that much garlic powder, okay? Just a little bit in the background to say, how you doing, all right? Mm. We need some cream or something. Let me see what I got. I got some cream, okay? These are gonna be the best potatoes you ever had in your life. Let me get a spoon. All right. So once you mash them, we can put the cream in. Okay. It don't have to be cream. It could be milk. I don't know why, but it could. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to add a little bit at a time and check out your consistency. If you add too much, you're going to be shamed, okay? And if you look at what I have, let me show you what I got, okay? If you look at what I got, I got a potato, okay? I love y'all too, okay? I got a potato. If you look right here, all right, that's a lot of salt. I got a lot of potatoes, all right? The last thing you want is to get in here and eat these potatoes and they taste horrible. See, that's the problem with your food and my food. See what I'm saying? You felt the urge to say it's a lot of salt. I felt the urge to say your food is bland. All right? And no shade, but when you make millions off of your recipes, then holler. Love you mean it, okay? Sometimes the internet trolls, we gotta shut them down, bro. Okay? Okay, let me taste this to make sure there's enough salt on the potato. Because sometimes you have to add more. It just depends. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the potatoes don't be salty enough. Honestly, it needs a little bit more salt. Okay? It's a potato. Potatoes don't have no seasoning. So you gotta put the salt. It's a potato. Everybody done had a bland potato. You done work this hard for this food and you don't want it to be bland. Okay? Now, behind me, my butter is brown. Can y'all see that caramelization in that butter? Can y'all see that? Okay? So what's happened is that, since we didn't put any butter in here yet, huh? So we let all the brown bits... I'm gonna see if y'all, if I can show you. It's probably gonna be hard because... I don't have them. I can't show you. I'm going to pour it out so you can see when I pour it. Okay? I'm just going to go and pour it. So if you do this, right? And you put some of that caramelized brown butter in there and then give that a stir. That's going to take your potatoes to an entirely different level. You're going to be like, Darius, what did you do to these potatoes? It's the brown butter. Brown butter makes everything taste just like amazing, okay? So our potatoes are ready. Let's work on these greens real fast, okay? Let me show you what I like to do with these greens. So these greens have cooked in my Darius Cooks pressure cooker for just a half hour. 
That's it, okay? It's full of pressure, so we can't open it. I like to take a towel, put a towel over it, like this, and then release the steam, okay? And if you do it like this with a towel, the towel will catch everything, right? If you don't, it does that, okay? So a little towel. And while that steam is coming out, before I pour me another drink, let me look at these comments real fast. See what y'all talking about. Hi! That's right, Cherise. We're not going to nobody's house with bland food. Okay? They say I have trolls. Oh, yeah, I always got trolls. Um, let me block you. Let me see who else I got to block. Y'all let me know who else need blocking. Okay? I can't see the comments back there. But I got a few minutes while the pressure releases itself. The greens I cook for 30 minutes. Hey, Facebook. TikTok don't have the comments on because they don't know how to act. What's up, YouTube? Okay. Oh, turn the comments off. Okay. Comments turned off. Instagram. Sorry. Turn off comments and bam. Ain't nothing to say now. Who you gonna get mad at? Nobody. Pass you a drink through the screen. Here you go, sis. I love y'all. I do. Ain't this a whole vibe? Ain't it a whole vibe? Watch the numbers on Instagram go down when you had the comments. Hmm. Okay. Now, please, you can season your greens at the beginning when you want to. Oh, look at this. It won't let me open it. See that? Until all the pressure has been released. Once all the pressure is released, uh, then we can open. Okay. And then once we open the floodgates of heaven, we could get in here and I could show you. So this is the turkey. Remember the turkey tails? Now this is the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Get this at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code um, Sunday at checkout, okay? But I want to show you that this was the turkey tail that you saw me put in a few minutes ago, right? I'm going to take this fork, yes, and I just want you to see, I can't even, like, it literally falls, I can't even pick it up, okay? 30 minutes, and this falls completely apart, which is, which is kind of what you want, okay? Let me find me another one in here. Look at this one, okay? You see that? Same thing here. This one is very difficult to stay intact but it falls right off the bone. And that's what you want in a pot of greens. Now, I'm a fan, and I know you're gonna ask me, he didn't season those? He did not season these. Because he likes to season at the end, okay? That's what he prefers. You do what you like. The people who come to dine with Darius Cooks and we serve collard greens, I ain't have one complaint. So the first thing I'm going to add in is some oil, okay? And the reason you need to add the oil, and I'm going to add a fair amount. I'm not eating the whole pot in one sitting, okay? But the reason I'm adding oil to this is because um, you want that mouthfeel. And the smoked turkey is not fat enough to give you the mouthfeel that you want. So I'm going to add in about a cup or so of canola oil, cup and a half. That way I'm really sure um, I get the mouthfeel that I'm going for, all right? So that's step number one is gonna be, look at this, I wish I could, I wish I could see this, okay? So step number one is that, all right? Step number two is chicken bouillon, okay? Chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon, chicken bouillon. Necessary, 
So we're going to add it in. Okay? Necessary. All right? Your turnips are not seasoned. Your turnip greens are not seasoned. Your smoked turkey is not seasoned. So I'm going to put in a little bit of chicken bouillon, crushed up, and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of beef bouillon at the same time. Okay? You're not, it's just going to be one of those things just like, what is that? That's, that's, that, the combinations of flavors are so good. You're going to be like, um, I know. Okay? All right. Now, uh, let me find some uh, Cajun seasoning. Oh, it's right here. So I'm going to put a little Cajun in here. Okay? There ain't really much in there to put in. But a little Cajun. And that's all your salt right there. Okay? So all in all, maybe a tablespoon and a half of salt for the whole pot. And if the whole pot feeds five or six people, you're eating one-fifth or one-sixth of a tablespoon and a half of salt per, per serving. You know what I'm saying? So you're literally eating like not even a full third of a teaspoon or a tablespoon of, of salt. Okay? So it is what it is. All right. This is uh, granulated garlic, which you can put as much as you want to in there. I also have some granulated onion as well. I need a little sugar. Okay. A little sugar. You got a whole pot of greens to season, okay? So, a little sugar, and then I've got tons of fresh cracked black pepper. And again, this pressure cooker you can get at my website, shopdairyscooks.com. Just use the code. Um, Use the code SUNDAY at checkout. You have until midnight, and then that's it, all right? So we give this a stir, and this is it. We're done, okay? So we have the most beautiful uh, pot of turnip greens, and I'm going to dish some up so you guys can see what it looks like with the turkey and the whole bit. This is why I love using like the turkey and the turnips. And if you want less juice, because you need the water content to do this pressure cooking situation, just drain it out before you season at the end and you'll be good to go. Okay. So I got half, I got half greens, half turkey. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Half greens and half turkey. I'm going to show you in one second. I smell, I smell the smokiness, the savoriness. Look at that. Can y'all see that? You see that? So this is the, this is the turnip greens. Yeah, a little sugar. It gets you where you need to go. So if you've never done it before, you should probably try it. Um, most of your church cooks, your Baptist church cooks, they put a little sugar in the cabbage. They put a little sugar in the green beans. And they put a little sugar in the um, in the greens, okay? So a little sugar will get you exactly where you need to go, okay? Now, before I pull these uh, turkey uh, wings off, we got to talk about this cake, okay? Talk about this cake before I pull this off. Uh, let me get some sugar, powdered sugar. All right. Now, I just want to make a little glaze. Is that all right? Can I do that? Can I do a little glaze? I'm going to do it anyway. All right? Even if you said no, I'm going to still do it. Okay? So here's what we do. 
for the glaze on our cake, okay? I'm gonna take some powdered sugar or confectioners, whatever you got. I'm gonna bust them open and I'm gonna throw some powdered sugar right in here, okay? Like between three and four cups of powdered sugar, okay? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that uh, beautiful vanilla that I got from Christy and I'm gonna put a couple of drops of vanilla right in here. So one, two little drops, probably a good tablespoon or so, all right? Now, this is the tricky part, okay? Because we're going for consistency, right? And this powdered sugar is real tricky, all right? So you add a little bit of cream, give it a stir, okay? Give it a whisk, and then we're gonna look at the consistency of this, and if it's too thick, then we're gonna add some more cream. This could be cream, if you were doing another flavor pound cake, this could be vanilla or lemon or rum or anything. But you can see, look at this. That's way too thick, right? So we add a little bit more cream at a time. And remember I told you, you don't rush this, okay? You take your time and you do it right, okay? The people who you're cooking for, including yourself, they're going to appreciate when it's done beautifully and it's done right, okay? So look at that. We just a little bit still thick, all right? So we're gonna add another drop of cream. And we take our time and we give that a stir until we get the consistency that we're happy with, okay? Look at that, almost, you see that? It's pourable, it's spreadable. I want it a little bit thinner. Let me see where we at. Oh yeah, and it smells great. The vanilla in here smells really, really beautiful. See that? That's what you want to see, all right? You want to see a glaze that looks like that. Now that's, now that's a beautiful glaze. You see that? Now that's beautiful, all right? Um, so we, if you're just joining us, we went ahead and we baked a uh, pound cake. I made one live for you. 325, it takes a little while in the oven. This is the Darius Cook's uh, wine glass collection. These are the decanters. So we have the decanter, we have the Royal, and we have the Regal, right? So this is the Royal wine glass, that's the Regal wine glass, and this is the Radiance decanter, okay? Alliteration. Use the code uh, Sunday at checkout and you can save 35% uh, until midnight. Hmm. Here's the problem. I ain't got a lot of time. Okay? So, basically, I had to make a cake early before y'all got here. Okay? Because I know y'all want to see what it's going to look like. Slice it open. See what's going on. So I made one earlier for you. Right here. Okay. I already know. Y'all was like, there he is. You gotta bake that cake, cool that cake. You ain't gonna have no time, bro. You right. So I made one for you here. Let me show you. I baked one for you earlier. 
and you can see what it looks like. Okay. This is a vanilla buttermilk pound cake. And I made it with cream cheese. Yes. Okay, can y'all see it? Okay. I'm gonna cut the comments back on on Instagram. Y'all tell me if Instagram cut up, I'm gonna cut the comments back off, okay? Y'all comments back. All right, it is cute, right? I know. And then really there's no rhyme or reason um, in terms of how to glaze, right? So you can just do a little glaze and I do extra glaze, like literally, like I want it to fall all throughout the cracks and fall all throughout the crevices of this pound cake. Like I want it to drip down in these little sections, okay? So we're gonna put it on the top and we're just gonna let gravity do its job, okay? Put that on top and we're gonna let gravity do the rest of its work, okay? So what'll happen is it's gonna start to fall down, you see? And get like in the crevices of the cake and that's what you wanna see. So you're just gonna let gravity do its job let it work, let it drip, let it fall, all right? And then we'll cut it momentarily. Okay, but we do have one more thing to worry about. First of all, so many of you from my email earlier, you purchased the um, pearl and gold brazing pan. I'm not using it tonight, but I did want to show you what it looks like. So this is the pearl and gold uh, brazing pan. It's 11 and a half inches in diameter. It's a beautiful tool. Um, if you follow me on social media, I posted a couple of videos using it. And then also my other one that I have is, uh, is this. So this is the pearl and the gold on the Dutch oven. Okay. So this is the pearl and gold brazing pan, right? And this is the pearl and gold Dutch oven. Yes, beautiful. I've already shown you the saucier, right? So you have this as well. And then there's also a cast iron skillet, enamel cast iron, and the logos, let me see if you guys can see the logo. The logos are underneath the bottom of each one, okay? So you can see there's logos underneath the bottom of each one. So it's beautiful, okay? ShopDariusCooks.com. You can use the code uh, Sunday at checkout to save a couple of dollars. Okay. Now, I know I need to attack and deal with these turkey wings, right? And personally, like I said, I know I want a thicker gravy on my turkey wings. So before I pull them off, Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some cornstarch to a little glass, okay? And then I'm gonna add in equal parts cornstarch and then equal parts cold water. Okay, very simple to do. And then we just give this a mix to make sure everything is incorporated. And this is gonna give us what we need for our sauce, okay? Speaking of our sauce, this has seven minutes left to go. I'm gonna pull it off right now. Um, it's been pressuring for 53 minutes. So, you know, we should be, we should be all right, all right? Uh, give me a second while I open this. And I just put that over just to make sure. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my Lord, the smell. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Oh. If this don't smell like Thanksgiving, I don't know what does. Okay? 
And yes, I'm keeping my head. You get a facial at the same time. Okay, this is a turkey wing facial. It's all natural with onion and bell pepper and celery and garlic. Mmm. This smells. Ah! That's hot. This smells so good. If you don't put the towel on, this is what happens. So you deal with this or you deal with that. Okay? So we're just letting the pressure cook out. And while we're waiting on the pressure to cook out, I'm going to leave a comment. While we're waiting on the pressure, you guys can go to shopdariuscooks.com. Okay? <clears throat> you can go to shopdariuscooks.com and pick you up a air fryer or pressure cooker and just use the code um, Sunday at checkout, okay? What's up, Greensboro? Oh, they say face. They say Instagram doing good. <laughs> if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Um, I go live at night sometimes on Instagram, and we have a good time until my edibles kick in. I take edibles uh, every night to go to sleep. I be having a hard time sleeping, so the edibles help me, you know, sleep real good. Okay. All right, let me see if I can open it, and I can. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay, first of all, I may not even need. I'm going to thicken it slightly. Just a little bit, okay? I don't even need that much. I'm just gonna put me a little piece of this in here. That's that much. That's all I need, okay? And give that a stir, and that's it. Look at this. Fresh out of the pressure cooker, gravy ready to go on top of the potatoes. Can y'all see that? Okay, now, let me minutes y'all see that look at that hold on y'all see this look at this I want you to see I, I didn't cut nothing okay I haven't cut anything all I did was open it up and took it out do y'all see this okay hold on one second I can't even pick this one up it's too tender look at this can y'all see that? Okay, so here's what I like to do before I eat this in terms of presentation because I'm about to devour this, okay? Let me show you how we're gonna do this. First, I need some parsley, okay? Something green, parsley or whatever you got. Basil, scallion, whatever. Three minutes. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Okay. Now, we're going to use my braising pan as a serving dish. Yes. Okay. So let's not forget we have these beautiful potatoes that we've cooked with the brown butter. So I'm just going to add the potatoes right to the bottom of my Darius Cook's braising pan, okay, because we can do that. It's got my name on it, okay? Spread these out a little bit. So potatoes on the bottom, and then I'm gonna grab some of the turkey wing. I keep saying turkey leg, didn't I? I said turkey leg, I meant turkey wing. Okay, hold on. But this turkey wing, this ain't even got no meat on the bone no more. This don't fail off, bruh. Okay, this don't fail off. You don't fail all the way off. Look at that. 
God, dog. Hold on, I think it's some more meat up in here somewhere. Here, it's some more meat right here. I'm gonna put this gravy on top of here like this too. I'm gonna show you in one second. Just hold on, hold your horses, okay? I'm gonna show you. All right, my gravy is there. Take a little bit of my parsley and I'm gonna sprinkle right over on top, okay? Now, I have my Darius Cooks. So you can show up to the function like this. See what I'm saying? You can show up to the function like this. Drop this in the oven and keep warm. Bring this out on the table. Serve just like that, Bri. You see that? That's what I'm saying. And the even conductor of heat is going to keep this nice and warm. Oh, let me show y'all. Hold on, I forget. Okay, you can, pull up, you can pull up one of these in your hand. ShopDariusCooks.com. Okay, use the code at checkout. Look at that. See that? Can y'all see? Look at that. That's uh, Facebook. This is Instagram. Okay, this is also Facebook, my Facebook friends. This is also uh, TikTok. What's up, TikTok? And then this is um, YouTube. Okay? All right, now. I don't know what you come to do. I came to fix a plate, a plate. Okay. All right, let me see if I can get up in here and grab me a little piece of the potato on the bottom. Mm, the brown butter mashed potatoes. On the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna grab me what I can of this turkey wing. Okay. And then I got me a little piece of college green. No, these are turnip greens. A little piece of turned up greens, okay, on the side with the smoked turkey and the turnips in the greens, okay. Hold the line one second. I am black. Okay, I am black. So you put a little piece of hot sauce. Now, whew, this is the part I hate the most. Doing this in front of y'all. This really make me upset. Bow your head and say grace, please. Grace. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh my God. Let me tell you something about these potatoes and that brown butter and that caramelization. Mm. Now I want you to see these turkey um, wings, right? I want you to see just how tender these turkey wings are. Can you see that? Look at how tender the turkey wings are. Okay, that's the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. ShopDariusCooks.com. Okay? Baby. Mmm. 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 Oh my God, y'all. Look at this. I don't even need a, a knife to cut these. Okay. And then my turnip greens with the turnips. God damn! Baby, if these don't taste like somebody grandmama made these, Mm. Mm -hmm. Baby. 
Okay, hold on. Let me cut this cake so I can go. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me cut this cake. I'm eating this. I'm going to take my time with this. Okay? I got to take my time with that. Okay? Baby, that's meticulously made. Okay? Meticulously made. Let's hope I don't drop it. Let's hope I don't drop it. You see that? You see that? You see that? Okay. This is what I'm talking about in this pound cake brick. Okay, vanilla buttermilk on the pound cake. You ain't gonna believe this. Look at this. Look at this crumb. Look at that crumb on that cake. You see that? Look at that crumb on that cake. Do you see this? Huh? You see that crumb on that cake? Huh, baby. All right, now listen. Y'all go buy some pressure cookers and air fryers and pots and pans and glasses and all that good stuff. I'm going to finish eating this. Recipes like this, DariusCooks.tv. Two things I want to tell you. Food is my life. Life is my food. Goodbye. Okay? I love y'all. I got to go eat. Okay? Bye, y'all. <laughs> this don't make no sense, bruh. Oh my God. Mm.